Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the Old Guy Rules. Uh, today you find us in Puerto Santiago. Now, extensively, Puerto Santiago is really quite close, but there are a couple of little gems that you will find, and today we're at one of the best gems that there is. It is the Outside Inn, and uh, it's a British-owned place, and it's been here since 1993. It's been here for like ever, hasn't it? Well, it says on the board there. Oh, right, OK. Which is great. Uh, now, uh, when are they open? Uh, Monday? Right. Come and see Lynn and Ray, uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 12 o'clock onwards. Which is great. And they also do amazing Sunday roasts every other Sunday. Sunday okay. roasts, you um, think? Recommend that you book and you can contact them on Facebook. Yeah, you can contact we'll, them we'll on Facebook. We'll put the link on. Yeah, we? we'll, we'll, we'll tell you what the link is to yeah. contact them on Facebook. Well, it's been a, an interesting couple of days. It's been hot. Since we saw you last. Absolutely. It's November and we are... No, only is it November, it's the middle of November, yes, yeah? Yes, but we're walking it's around so in t-shirts and shorts yeah. and, and shall we say, sweating profusely. Mm. It's just so it's just not, unnatural. It's just not right. And you know what? I have to wonder if it's something to do with maybe the ozone layer correcting itself because there's not so many flights, not so many cars on the yeah, road. Do you know what I think it is? What do you think it is? The weather. You think, oh, it could just yeah. be the weather. Could <laughs> just be the weather. Uh, we've come down here this morning of an absolutely fantastic coffee. Yeah, me too. And, and a bacon and egg sandwich <gasps> with brown sauce. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, just like have, being a You can't have an egg and bacon sandwich without brown sauce. I've just been looking at the menu because when you sit here at the outside in the, you can't miss the menus. They're on the they're on the wall. They look absolutely yeah, they do, yeah. fantastic. Really and I've got to tell you, the prices are so reasonable. Mm -hmm. You couldn't go out and buy it and make it yourself. No, you couldn't. It's brilliant. And also, um, because the, the resource is a bit quiet, get yourself down here because it's really easy to park at the moment. Oh yeah, parking's yeah, great around parking's here. There's quite great. a few open spaces. Yeah, so uh, make the most of it. Which is, which is great. So what else has been going what on? What else has been going on? It's been really hot. You, you said that. I'm like a farmer then, didn't I? You really did. Off, really but off. also, I have to tell you, in Los Gigantes, uh, great news, the Oasis is open again. However... Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Don't be running down there with your swimmers and your flip-flops and everything. It's not the pool that's open. No, the pool remains closed. No. But you can go bowling. Yep, go bowling. Um, the bar's open. Limited groups and the tapas bar and restaurant. And the restaurant's open as well. Open. But, but again, it's, it's great days. news. So it's have a look on Facebook. Absolutely brilliant news. But yeah. you can get in touch, like Ollie says, uh, and you can find out all about the Oasis mm. opening again on Facebook. You did find something else to talk about, I believe. Did I, did I find something else to talk yeah. about? Well, there's, there, there's still on about these COVID tests for people coming in from uh, entering Spain from the UK. We're, we're obviously, won't be required to self-isolate, but from the 23rd of November, all passengers, including kids, travel into Spanish airports and ports from risky countries will be required to present a negative PCR swab test. This is all well and good, but people have to pay for these. Yes. They're, they're not going to give them to no, you. Huh? So if you've got a family of four, it's putting an awful lot Yeah, the, the government the is really going to have to sort it out because, you know, yeah. Spain needs the, the tourists. And then where everyone around the world is buying up vaccines that yeah. seem to be 90 to 95% effective. Personally, uh, if you're going to take a vaccine, great, do it. Me personally, I'm not sure. Uh, I want a bit more evidence, mate. Yeah, I have a theory, though. You have a theory? Yeah, I have a theory. I'm really anti the vaccine because you can't possibly know what side effects are going to happen. Over the However, next few years. if it meant that I could travel freely and go and see my mum and dad in the UK, then I would have it. Absolutely. So it's all there, and it's a very much a personal choice uh -huh. as to whether you yeah, do or you don't. I don't but, like it, but I would have it. But having said that, there are rumours that the UK it's going to be mandatory. So we don't yeah, know. We, we don't just know. it's just what we're reading mm -hmm. in the news. But there you go. Uh, I don't think there's a lot else for right. us to talk to. I don't think there is. But um, we have got some figures, I believe. Yeah, we've got some figures. We've done the Oasis. Holly's oh. got her office here. Well, it's yeah. a mobile phone, but all information in the world is yeah, held on the mobile phone, phone. Mobile phone lent against a coffee cup. Go on, it then. works. So the overall um, cases we've had... Now, this is going back to the beginning, since lockdown happened in March, yeah? So the overall cases that we've had are 19,000. This is in the entire of the Canary yeah. Islands? Yeah. So there was 
91 more yesterday. So it's 19,450 yeah. total cases. Uh, the deaths are up to 313, that's plus two. So that's gone But again, to... the two that, that died, they were old people and they've got yeah. underlying health yeah. uh, issues. It's very sad, but you know, when you've got underlying health issues, you have to actually question whether they've died of you, COVID you, or it. something you, you else. You do, yeah. I, was, yeah. I didn't want to say that. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Um, so the people that have been cured and discharged are 14, that, well, more or less 15,000, yeah. and th- which leaves uh, just over 4,000 active cases. But that's, like I say, on the whole of the Canary Islands. So when you're taking the whole of the Canary Islands, the figures, they're not that bad. It's, it's not like the UK. But we and sit... particularly this area, there's yeah. hardly any. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But we sit and we wait with bated breath to see what's happening with vaccines and uh, COVID yes. detection tests. And I think that's the big one. For me, that's the big one. If they could get a very successful detection kit and they use them on point of exit, then we yeah. wouldn't be having COVID over uh-huh. here and vice versa from different countries. Countries could close down and deal with it uh, in, in within their own environment. But that's about it from us yeah, today. that's it from us, yeah. What are you doing? Have yourself, uh, have yourselves a great time. And don't forget, we're still using our hashtags, hashtag be safe. Hashtag Bradstorm. And don't forget to, to like us, subscribe, set your notifications. And share us with all your friends. Yes, we think they'd both <laughs> like it. But, but we know you've got more than two. <laughs> Guys, have a great day. I've been Eddie. Yeah, I've been Holly. We've been at the outside in. And you've been watching yeah. The Old Girls. Bye. Bye.